Yeah, got the gear ready. And uh, today, another early morning, uh, it's time to go check out another TBM. Not because, you know, I'm really interested in buying a TBM. I'm not anywhere near a turboprop at this point. But it just so happens Vern is a TBM sim instructor and TBM instructor. Every once in a while, I get a chance to uh, catch a ride. So let's see if I can get, get one this morning. Heading over to St. Pete. It is 5.35 and uh, we're packed up, ready to go. My name is David Carrier. In 2007, I founded a commercial plumbing pump systems business in Florida. In 2015, after traveling the world commercially for over 25 years, I responded to a discovery flight coupon on the internet and was bitten by the aviation bug in 2015. From that point forward, all I ever wanted to do was travel from the front seat, not looking out the side window in the back. I decided if I was able, I'd travel the Southeast on my own as a private pilot. Together with Vernon Van Cleve, my trusty CFI and sidekick, who's been with me since the beginning, we've been traveling the country looking for a suitable aircraft for my mission. I've since purchased three planes and in 2021 was finally able to get my dream plane, a 2021 Cirrus SR-22. This is me and Vern's continuing flight log and aviation story. Hope you enjoy it. Hey, here we are in St. Pete today. We're going to do some IFR practice. I'm going to drill the Garmin G1000 NXI, also known as the Cirrus Perspective Plus, in the beautiful SR22. Shout out to Signature. Uh, great people here. Uh, no charge for the tie down fee. And they even put me in the system, so if I ever need uh, if I ever need fuel, they'll happily oblige, and they do have a fuel program, so uh, probably doesn't hurt to sign up online at their website. I'm going to go ahead and do it. Vern getting ready to teach in a 940. So this will be my first flight in a 940 today with Vern uh, because he's the teacher. Of course, he's trying to sell me on it. <laughs> um, I don't know, maybe someday, I don't know, you know, at this point, and I, this is, you know, Cirrus is just great, works great for my mission, but as everybody knows, missions change. Also notice that uh, what appears to be an LC-39 trainer, I think that's one of those Czech jet trainers out there. A great day to fly here in St. Pete, and we've got a little treat for you today. Um, today, I'm going to be heading up, not in the Cirrus, but in that plane all the way in the back back there, TBM. in the back seat watching the operation set up of these Garmin systems. Good news is that this G3000 is not much different than the Cirrus Garmin Perspective Plus. Many of the same procedures apply, but this turbine just had a vastly different start procedure. I watch videos like this 
real life event on YouTube by Stevo, but you really don't understand what this airplane is capable of until you experience it for yourself. Okay, here we are about to depart runway 36 to do some practice. See, Vern had an evil plan. He knew when I got into this beast of a plane, felt the rush of that Pratt & Whitney 850 horsepower turbine driving that five-blade Raptor lightweight propeller by Hartzell, that I'd feel the rush. Whew, and what a rush. It felt as if we were being propelled off that runway by one of those carrier steam launchers. <laughs> Turbines have a different feeling than pistons. They're smoother and less lobey. Yeah, that's a word. The experience is less like a takeoff, more like a launch off. When they get above the thermals and fly at altitude, they get even smoother. It was completely unlike the Cirrus, not in a bad way, but maybe more like a different way. I mean, this thing was a beast, almost like it was leaping from its cage into that warm Florida air. Well, Vern was right about something. I wouldn't be the same after this flight. Okay, we'll start making this left turn. Right out in front of us is the Gulf of Mexico. And we're just gonna go fly over that and uh, kind of go down the coast south and make a couple of landings in some airports south of Tampa and St. Pete. Notice how incredibly smooth this airplane is when it gets above all the, the thermals and the, and the heat. Man, this thing is smooth. Well, enjoy the rest of the video. We've got some great images, and uh, this is a pretty wonderful day for me to experience the TBM. So keep watching, it's not over yet.